Chicken with Coop. Welcome back. Hey, I'll tell you what we're going to do now. We are going to clean up a nasty old skillet. I've let this skillet get a little nasty. We're going to fry some pork chops. And so I thought I'd show you. I got one how to clean a skillet when it ain't too nasty. But this one here is a little bit nasty. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to clean that up. It's, it's, it's a little nasty, you know, seeing that like that. Get a little knife here and just show you. Come here and see. Um, it's it's on there, but it ain't stuck like really bad. So if you wanted to use some, some people use salt and stuff in there and scrub it around, and that's okay. But what I tell you, what I like to do, and you don't want to have to do this every time, but it, it works all right. I'm going to turn the turn the fire up. We're gonna get it good and hot here. We're going to get it hot. That really helps it a lot. You can do this after you eat. Just finish your cooking. Sit it back there on the back a little bit. It'll be warm when you get back. It don't get totally cold. But then when you come back, put it up under the heat and let it get good and hot on you. All right? And then we'll just... There we go. See there? That's what you want. So you get you some water in a, in a East Tennessee coffee mug and this it has to be an East Tennessee coffee mug or this won't work right all right so you pour this in there just like that and if you'll come and look look real quick look real quick you can see it turning white almost see that stuff done just about all turn loose and it just kind of be like a self-cleaning pan well what I do is I leave this on there and uh, let it come up to a good boil. Let it let it come up to a good hard boil. And what this is going to do is it's going to help that bacon grease that was in there, and that water is going to soften up some of that stuff that was in that pan. This is the easy way to clean a nasty skillet. The skillet that's got a bunch of stuff in it. This is the way to to get that cleaned up. So we're just going to let this come up temperature a little bit. There's some things you can do while you're waiting on it, like play the spoons. You want to play the spoons while you're waiting on it? If you ain't got spoons to play, you can play the radio, okay? <laughs> Get you one of them and uh, play your radio while you're waiting on that to come to boil. I'll tell you what's good is while you're waiting on that, you can wash your glasses and wash your other stuff or load up your dishwasher and all those kinds of things uh, while you're waiting on it. Now, give a spatula out here a little bit and just kind of test it. I'm not scrubbing, now don't scrub your pan. Don't take and, and scrape the mess and stuff. What I'm doing is I'm just feeling it. That's all I'm doing. I'm feeling to see if there's anything stuck. I'm just, I'm just dragging it. I'm not scraping it. See, listen, you don't hear me scraping it. I'm just dragging it. Just dragging it around a little bit. Just checking and if there's something still stuck to it, you'll feel it but you'll see all the stuff starting to turn loose you can see this water see that water see that see those pieces of that meat in there where it's turned loose them clumps and lumps have turned loose and that's what you want and you won't have to scrub and scrub and scrub and scrub this pan you won't have to do that all right so we've let this go a little while we just agitated it just a little bit and uh, so I'm going to get you to come over and take a look at it. So we're going to run some water to the sink. Get this water going. I got my little little scrubby. So you come around over here on this side. And we're going to take a look at how this, how this works. I like to use this as a rest for my handle. And uh, that helps a lot doing that. So we're going to bring this skillet, turn it around. Get my handle like I want it. We're going to go ahead and turn this aisle. Okay. And then we're going to take and we're just going to pour that right there. And that skillet looks pretty good. It ain't so bad. You can see some spots. Now I'm using hot water. Using as hot as it'll come out of the faucet. We're going to keep everything nice and hot. All right. And you can see that skillet. It's got a little bit of stuff in it, but not much. You can see it's a little brown in that bottom corner right there where the water's pooled up. You can see that. But the thing about boiling it like this, I'm gonna get me some water in there. Is that softens this up? And watch this. That's that's all you gotta do right there. And you keep a little bit of water in it so you can you can squish it around after you've scrubbed over a little spot or two. And uh, you remember how nasty this thing looked? But look how easy it's cleaning up. I mean, it cleans up so easy. 
and I'm not using soap. You don't have to use soap. If you want to use a little bit of soap, I guess you could, but you don't want to scrub it uh, with soap in there. That soap that takes grease out of your way, you know, that kind of stuff, it can actually soften up your seasoning that's on your skillet. And we don't we don't want to do that. We want to protect the seasoning, so we don't we don't want anything to happen to that, because that's what makes these skillets so nice and usable. But I'm just swashing this around here a little bit, and I'm telling you, it, it, it looks just fine. I don't think there's any left stuck in there. And see, now that wasn't hard. I didn't scrub. I didn't. I didn't. It didn't pester me not one bit. It sure didn't. So look at there. That's all. There's a little spot right here, and it starts drying. You can see it. I just didn't scrub that one, but I just take this little this little scrubber and just use it a little bit in there like that. See where stuff's at, and uh, that's easy on it. It won't it won't mess that seasoning up. So let me show this to you real nice. See, see that looks good. Ain't ain't nothing wrong with that. That's clean enough. It's as clean as you want it. Don't know how much cleaner you'd want to get it than that right there. That's clean enough. So now that's that we're halfway done you say well i thought we were done look at that skillet it looks good it is good but we only we only halfway done okay so we're going to put it back on here all right so we're going to put it back on we're going to turn this turn that eye back on we're going to put it on high heat we're going to we want to you got to dry this skillet up and we're going to put a little baking grease in it oh, we use baking grease for a whole lot of stuff around here but i'm telling you old uncle coop he about out of baking grease so look at there it's about time it's about time to fry up some bacon i'm going to use my dish rag right here just a little bit so what we want to do is dry this skillet up we want to spread it around like this so there's no puddles in it getting rid of all them puddles yep and getting that skillet nice and hot now i'm telling you really if you look at this skillet up close like this i'm telling you that's a pretty skillet right there but you can see on the sides See how the sides are a little bit shinier than that middle part? You can see some, some shine right here. It's kind of shiny here, but it's dry there. Uh, what we want to do is we want to put this bacon grease in there so that uh, it's all shiny all over. So I just, I'm just going to use a little bit, not a whole lot. And do this, do this every time. If you'll do this every time, man, this skillet's going to be really good for you. And uh, it'll build up a, a nice seasoning. I'm going to take one. And I'm going to use it to slop that around. Uh, you're going, going to have one. I'm letting it melt up. See, it's just about melted all up right there. And then I'm just going to dab it. And I'm going to paint it on here like this. And get me a pot holder. These pot holders about had it, ain't they? We're going to just whoop this around like that. Then we're going to get off as much as we can. Now, now that we're done with that, we're going to turn the heat off. We don't need the heat anymore. So I'm going to get, get another clean place. Now, some people say this is going to put a bunch of lint in your pan. And it would if you keep on, keep on wiping with the same. But I keep turning it to a clean side. Now, what I'm trying to do is wipe off all the excess. I'm going up the sides. Okay? I'm wiping off the excess. You can see where it's real shiny. You want to get that excess off. And, and you can fold this up to where... See this part right here is all, all dry. So I'm gonna use that to wipe it around a little bit. See there, got a little more off. You don't wanna leave it on here thick cause it might go bad on you. So now that's it right there. And if you get any little bit of lint, sometimes it'll leave a little lint, that's okay. What you can do is you can just take your, take your rag right here and it, it don't mess your rag up, see? You just wipe it off. So that's all it is to it. So what you do is you just put some water in there Put it on the eye, turn it up on high. Go ahead, turn it up on high. Cut that fire up real hot and then let it start boiling. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna start loosening up that meat that might be stuck a little bit to the seasoning. And then if you carry it right to the sink without boiling the water, you couldn't get it out with the scrubby brush. You'll have to use something else and you might have to get too aggressive with it and you might miss your seasoning up. So just let that boiling water and that hot water work for you. Dump it out, pour it, dump, run some water in it, use hot water, and then take its little scrubby brush and it should just come right out. And then rinse it again and look. And if you've got a piece that's stuck a little bit and doesn't want to come out, then scrub it a little harder with your scrubby brush. You might even use your fingernail a little 
little bit and just scrape just a little bit and get that spot off. But I tell you, it'll come clean real easy when you boil that water in there, okay? Now you all get your cast iron skillets out and y'all start using them. And now that you know how to clean them up when they're a mess, you're going to love them. I'm telling you, you can do it in just a few minutes and it ain't that much trouble, none, not at all. You're going to love the way this cast iron cooks your food and you're also going to love how to clean it up once you learn the trick to the trade. And that's one of Uncle Coot cooking with Coot secrets right there is boiling your water to help you clean your cast iron skillet. Well, I hope you take that secret and I hope that it helps you in your cast iron cooking. I love you. Y'all be good. Bye-bye. Hey, y'all, don't forget to mash the subscribe and the like button. I appreciate it. And tell all your friends to watch Cooking with Coot. I'll teach them how to make their food happy.